Hi guys, here I am again and I hope that you found the video useful in understanding the concept of drawing the shear and moment diagram for beams loaded with concentrated loads on them. Today we are going to learn how to draw shear and moment diagram for beams loaded with uniformly distributed load. So we have a beam here loaded with uniformly distributed load. So when we say beam with uniformly distributed load, the load, the magnitude of the load is equally distributed over the entire span of the beam. So let's say this is uh, 10 meters and the load is distributed at 5 kN per meter. So we can easily solve for the reaction at A here and the reaction at B. So since the 5 kN per meter load is distributed over the entire span, so we can easily get the value of reaction at A that is 5 multiplied by 10 which is 50 this 50 kN will be equally divided by 2 so that means 25 kN at A and 25 kN at B ok so we are now ready to draw the shear and moment diagram First, we draw the shear diagram. Again, draw a horizontal line here showing the length of the beam. So, notice that we have reaction here at 25, so we have a vertical line here upward. So, this is 25. So, 25 kilonewton less the area of this load which is 50 and times 10 50 so 25 minus downward of 50 up to here so that means 25 minus 50 is negative 25 so we have here 25 and then we have an upward force of 25 kN, which is the reaction at B, that will make the shear diagram closes at zero. So again, remember that shear diagram should close at zero. That will determine also if your reaction at B is correct. Meaning, if the value here is 25 it should be equal to the reaction at B so that the shear diagram will close at 0 ok so we now have the shear diagram what we do now is to draw the moment diagram notice that in the shear diagram the shape is triangle Unlike in the beam loaded with concentrated load, the shear diagram is of rectangular shape. But now, we have a shear diagram with rectangular shape. Meaning, the moment diagram will be of the shape of a curve. Okay, let's see. We are going to use the area of the shear diagram to get the values of the moments along the beam. Okay. So for this uh, kind of beam, uniformly distributed over the span, the beam, at the mid span where L is e over 2, which is 5 here, 5 meter here, 
the shear diagram here is zero. Remember that at this point of the beam, the moment should be maximum or greatest. So meaning, if we are going to draw the moment diagram here, the moment at A is zero, so we start at zero here. We are going to solve for the area of this triangle that is 5 times 25 divided by 2. 25 times 5. That is 62.5. So meaning, this area is equivalent to the moment at this point. This is equal to 25, 25 by 5 divided by area of triangle. So we have 62.5. So as I have said, the drawing is, or the shape is, or Sixty two point five minus the area, negative area of the shear diagram here, which is also equal to twenty five multiplied by five divided by two, that will give you negative sixty two point five. So sixty two point five minus sixty two point five will give you zero. Okay. So this is the shape of the moment diagram for this kind of loaded beam. So, in drawing the shear and moment diagram for beams loaded with uniformly distributed over the entire span, we have three observations. One, in the shear diagram, the drawing is of the shape of triangle. And at mid span, you notice that shear force is zero. Second, in the moment diagram, the shape is a curve with the maximum moment at this point where the shear equals zero. Always remember that if shear is zero, moment is maximum and third both closes are zero here because for heat support and roller support moment here are zero so I hope this short lecture will help you in understanding the shear and moment diagram for being loaded with uniformly distributed load. We can modify this beam in the sense that we can add additional load. This time we are going to add concentrated load at any point of the beam. But I think we have to uh, have a separate video on beam weight uniformly distributed load plus some concentrated loads. Okay, see you next time.